I'm Amber, a certified orthotist. To my side, I have Pauline, who's also a certified orthotist. And our patient today is Nikki, a orthotic resident. And we're gonna show you how to put on a lumbosacral orthosis, or also known as an LSO brace. This one specifically is called the edge brace. And this brace is going to be for any injuries, uh, traumatic or non, of the lumbar or sacral spine. And this brace is made out of two portions a front piece and a back piece, and it's secured with Velcro closures. We're gonna go over donning and doffing. We're gonna have our patient roll towards you, and we're gonna review another variation of what this brace could look like. So we have an anterior, or what we call front shell. We also have a posterior, or a back shell. The back piece has a cutout for spinous processes, and it has lateral plastic wings. It needs to be distinct what is top from bottom, and typically we can help assist with that by writing top and back just for patients and staff um, and caregivers to understand what is up from down and side to side. Here you can see a bit of a swoop, and this edge is going to rest on the top part of the uh, gluteal region, and this is going to be up in the mid thoracic spine. Notable on this piece on the lateral flange is a plastic cutout. It's a slit, and this is really important for us to landmark on the patient's body where their waist is, and that is something that we'll palpate for. On the anterior portion, we have um, some padding and Velcro-sensitive material. What's to note on this is the swoop in the top portion, or what we call the proximal end. This is what's gonna rest on the lower rib cage, and then this pointed piece is going to extend into pubic symphysis area to lock onto the pelvis and ensure that this brace is secure. Again, sometimes these things can be upside down or backwards, and what we want you to ensure is that this is the right way up. So our patient is going to be log rolling towards me, and we want to do this in a safe manner. So depending on how your patient is injured and what jurisdiction you're working in, you may need assistance with this. Nikki's going to bend her knees, She's gonna extend an arm, and she's gonna log roll towards me, and I'm her safety here. We're gonna ensure that this is the top, and this is the bottom, and we're gonna line up this uh, cutout with her spinous processes. We're gonna make sure that we can tuck in our strapping underneath her body. Now, this slit, we need to palpate for her rib cage. So we want the last rib and the top of her iliac crest. And that is where this cutout is going to lie on her body. So we're going to ensure that that is in the best position we can be. And we're going to ask the patient to log roll back onto her backside. Good. Sometimes when we don this brace, it can be a bit askew. And what we need to do is just assist the patient in getting this in the right, correct spot. So what I'm gonna ask the patient to do is to do a half log roll towards our camera. Fantastic. And I'm just going to assist by lining this up. Again, looking for anatomical landmarks being the waist and then having her log roll back towards me. She's now centered on our posterior shell and we're gonna apply the anterior shell. We need to ensure that we can actually put Velcro on the front of this shell and what we need to not do is put the front piece inside the back. You will not be able to hear anything to the plastic. So we're going to put the front over the back and we're putting the front over the back and holding this in place. We have some Velcro that will stick to the side. So we're gonna apply that Velcro and the brace is on her body, but she's not secure. So we need to tighten the two straps that are on this brace. We have a top strap and we have a bottom strap. This is going to apply abdominal compression and secure this to her back. I'm going to pull equal pressures out of our bottom brace to pull the slack out of the strapping. And this material is Velcro sensitive so it can stick to itself. We're going to do the same thing with our top strap and we're going to pull the slack out of that material. And again, applying it anywhere to the front because it will all stick to itself. This patient is now secure in her brace and we can now begin to mobilize. So we're going to ask our patient to log roll towards the camera. 
and we're going to get up from our table. And so we need to drop our knees and push with our hand to be in a seated position. She is now wearing our brace, and I'm gonna have you stand. I would like the camera to see our strapping mechanisms to the side, so we're gonna to spin to the side, raise an arm, and just so you can understand what that looks like on the body. And sometimes there will be um, two level fractures, so something that may be in the lumbar region as well as the thoracic region. We can use this brace with a modified version and it has a thoracic extension. So all the same things that Amber's just gone through, and this would be how the front would be. We would adjust for this to be sitting just below sternal notch, a little dip in your chin, or under your chin there, and make sure that this would be looking after both lumbar and thoracic regions. So that is just another version of the edge LSO. It now becomes a TLSO.